Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on simplifying a multiple of a third. Now in the previous video we saw how we could simplify a third. Remember third is just a root of a number and we didn't have numbers on front of these so we had for example simplifying root 8 and we might have simplifying root 12 but now we have to deal with a number on front and not much changes really. If we think about how we simplified root 8 what we did was to find the largest square number that goes into 8. Now if I just for convenience write out some square numbers, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and that will probably do. What's the biggest square number that goes into 8? Well it's 4 isn't it? And do you remember we write the square number first, we do root 4 and then we write root and then think 4 times what would give you 8? It's 2. And the reason this works is because when we, we multiply two thirds together, we just multiply the numbers together. So 4 times 2 is 8, so that would simplify to that. And then, do you remember, we simplify by saying what's the square root of 4? It's 2, so it's 2 times root 2. So we can just write 2 root 2. Now, if we've got 3 root 8, what we would do is to just do exactly the same thing, but leave the 3 on the front. So we'd have the 3 there, and we'd write what we did before. So root 4, root 2. And then, in our head, we say, what's 3 times the square root of 4? Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so it's 3 times 2 is 6. So it's 6 root 2. 6 root 2. Let's use that for this second example, 5 root 12. So let's leave the 5 there, and then we simplify the root 12. So what's the biggest square number that goes into 12? It's 4 again. So we write root 4 and then root, well 4 times what is 12? It's 3. And then the final step I encourage you to do in your head, what's 5 times the square root of 4? 5 times 2 is 10, so we get 10 and then we still got that root 3 there. So that is the final answer.